Hi there, here with Golf Digest Middle East, and I'm going to show you how to execute the high lob shot that will get you out of any tricky situations you might find yourself in around the green. Now what you see here is I've got quite a tight lie on this shorter fairway grass here, which means that I need to change my setup a little bit than what some of you might think to play this shot. Firstly, I go for the lob wedge. I've got 60 degrees here. I've got slightly higher bounce, which is basically the angle of the back edge here sloping from back to front. And that's going to allow me to open the club face and make sure that I can really slide the club underneath. Now for the setup, you'll notice that I'm going to play the ball position slightly more to the left here. This is similar to a bunker shot because my target is once I open the club face, I'm actually going to try to lean my weight left side because I do want to encourage a strike down and in slightly behind the golf ball. That's right, I want to actually hit a little bit behind so that I can get the trailing edge of this lob wedge right here, sliding in behind the ball and through the other side with as little a divot as possible. I want this to be quite a shallow angle of attack. So ball position is slightly to the left. I'm gonna lean left, like I said, to hit down. And I actually want in the swing to see if I can keep the backswing slightly wide. I'm gonna push my arms nice and wide in the backswing with very passive wrists. You know, we don't talk too much about hinging the wrists or fast hands. We only want the arms to go nice and wide and soft hands just to make sure that when I do get my chest turning to the target, the club will come through with the right amount of speed. And you also notice that hands, we don't drive forward, we don't lean back, keep them very neutral. Shaft angle, almost 90 degrees to the ground, club face slightly open, weight left side. So I'm gonna now go ahead and show you how to execute this shot. Okay, you may have seen the YouTube video at the moment of Phil Mickerson executing a lob shot over Roger Cleveland's head. Well, he wasn't able to come and help me for this shot, but I have enlisted uh, Camilo Vajegas here, who's agreed to do it on the basis that I give him a driver length as opposed to a pitching wedge length uh, from, from the shot. So I'm going to put those techniques into practice now. I'm going to show you how we can hit this over Camilo's head. He didn't even flinch. <laughs> 